Hi, my name is Leticia Huckabee, and my exhibition, Beautiful Blackness, is on display at Photo Relevance in Houston. The work is an exploration of the path that African Americans took to the Dust Bowl in order to develop towns and um, farms of their own. They were called the Exodusters because of their sort of mass exodus from the Deep South into Oklahoma and Kansas and other Dust Bowl states. I'm following their path and also forging a path of my own along the way, allowing me to have my own sort of personal exodus taking pictures in these towns, photographing whatever's left there, if there's any town left at all, or just the landscape in those communities. It's sort of a poetic look at uh, what the African-American landscape really looks like and all the politics that are tied into that. Hello, this is Jeffrey Kozloff, co-owner of Photo Relevance Gallery. I want to tell you a little bit more about Letitia Huckabee's work and her exhibition, Beautiful Blackness. It includes several components that follow a traditional visual storytelling. The work is a combination of people, land, and tradition, as you've already heard from Letitia herself. Letitia is a deeply religious and thoughtful person. The materials in which she prints flour sacks, sugar sacks, cotton fabric that is either sewn to create quilts or framed with vintage wood embroidery hoops, as well as traditional prints, carry a history that connects past the present. Huckabee's visual expression is a fine balance of who she is, a documentary photographer and an artist. There are hidden stories on landscapes that go beyond what we see. In driving past the Dixon Correctional, a prison facility in Jackson, Louisiana, Huckabee caught a glimpse of this lineup of cows. She quickly stopped the car to capture the image. The black cows made her think of the incarcerated inmates and the white faces of the cows, a stark, stark contrast. It's a beautiful, striking image that has an innocence and a very traditional feel to what we expect to see in a rural area. Huckabee saw a different message in the scenery. The white birds flying overhead in supervision in and amongst the cows is another subtle reference back to the African-American experience. It references the post-Civil War effort to stabilize a slave community with a newfound freedom. The Letitia Huckabee landscapes and portraits in beautiful blackness are more than the capture of an image. These are objects of art that speak to legacy. More than recording either in a documentary fashion, she's made the object a tool for communication, expression, and statement. The construction of quilts is both an individual as well as a community effort. The quilts are hand-stitched together into traditional African-American quilting patterns. The people are shown as black silhouettes, both young and old, multiple generation. Each person conveys an emotion, reflections, prayers, and innocence. Then there's the landscape. Huckabee seems to want us to move visually in and around the image, images. The fabric is almost like the base soil itself, and also the sky, as the fabric has hues of gray and blue. The single com composition or combination of images on a quilt are the visual storyline from a past to the present fixed to this land. The use of silhouettes and beautiful blackness is about age, content, and place, more than who the people are in these images. The use of both landscape and silhouette allow a viewer to imagine themselves floating through this shared personal history. For Letitia Huckabee, her work is a time capsule for the African-American experience. We thank you for joining us on this visual journey to see Letitia Huckabee's exhibition.